Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can add a PHP executable path in Visual Studio Code. So I have this PHP code here. And to set PHP path, first we need to install a PHP extension. So go to your extensions by clicking here or by clicking Ctrl Shift X and search for PHP. And you will see this option PHP first from DevSense. It's just PHP and this is the first result is what I meant to say, not PHP first. And click on this and just click on install. So it has a lot of other things in, uh, like, you know, code complete and all that stuff. Close this. So yeah, and after this is installed, you will see this uninstall option. So close this now and go to file. If you are in Mac, go to code, go to preferences and click on settings. The shortcut is control and comma. It will open settings. So if I go here and press control comma, it will open settings. Now search for PHP. And you'll see these many options inside uh, okay extensions and click on php and you will see this page now scroll down and you will see where is it yeah executable path so you'll see php executable path now click on edit in settings.json and this is where you set your php executable path okay so now where is php installed in your system by default you might have it installed inside c inside a php folder but i have xamp installed so it is inside xamp inside php here you will see php.exe this is the executable now you need to add the full path to php.exe not this path xamp slash php but full path that includes this php.exe so right click on this and click on show more options and click on copy as path now path is copied go to your visual studio code and here paste it but you'll see this error because we need to add double slash here here also and here also remove this and this so inside quotes we have the path separated by double slash okay now we have set the path now save the file by pressing ctrl s and now the file is saved now i can close this you can close this and php file is now uh, you know we have set the executable so let's try to run this and as you can see we have successfully run and our php output is printed so this is how you can set php executable in visual studio code if you have any questions let me know in the comments below